what's going on guys this is mast and welcome back to some more smite conquest today we're playing osiris in the solo lane with a bit of a twist we are going bumba's late game osiris for some of them, some of my favorite cheese in a while it's really sick man it's so good um yeah osiris jungle not something i am a big fan of it's playable but personally i feel like it doesn't work super well outside of competitive it does get played a bit in competitive i feel like in stuff like ranked and casuals uh given you can make it work in casuals but like in a serious rank game osiris solo normally going to be a bad thing uh just because his ganks aren't that great he doesn't really have good hard cc so he's more of just a bully right but with bumbas on a tank build osiris is absolutely disgusting is we get into the late game because our sickle has a crazy low cooldown and has a five second base cooldown and then with full cooldown it's a th okay <laughs> okay <laughs> uh that's that's a solid loki gank right there you want to you want to suck me herc came out a little weird yeah all right well loki blink i don't know why why are you trying to gank before your solos there man what's funny is i was so distracted recording i feel like it might have been a good gank if he didn't like completely butcher it you know oh that hits okay feel like it didn't but that's fine oh nice we got bonus farm because loki uh loki sapped a little bit i think because we're against a oops that's not what we want because we're against a herc i'm gonna try maxing the one this lane you can max either the one or the two on osiris uh but herc is a big bully god and if we can out bully him with damage that would be pog and uh yeah we did nice getting that extra level there is pretty clutch all right let's grab totem real quick before we dip help out the boys i don't know if, you if, if i've talked about it in a video i think totem is something i've actually been sleeping on super hard i think totem gets so much value like early on when totem came out i thought it was mostly about the gold and actually i think you get more value out of the uh the passive on totem i think it's crazy and if you're watching spl you get to see towers go immune which is super cool too super super nice bonus uh here let's not die to tower let's start building oh he went full boots he just didn't go tp he's also got an absolute shitload of pots so yeah we both got full boots done he's got a shell which he didn't use for some reason when i killed him right i feel like i would remember him having shell ironically i think we kill him anyways even if he shelled i'm pretty sure he dies because he was mega slowed why, why are you fighting this my man if you dash me you just die after he doesn't even get his shell again <laughs> and th though even again i think he would have just died without getting shell or without getting any value out of shelling we just kill him with slows he's being too aggro i get he's herc so he's trying to do herc things oh and he's got a border on herc so he's probably got like uh he doesn't want to get embarrassed you know i don't know it's a gold border i feel like diamond borders are the people are just like nah we win this lane no matter what but, <laughs> but yeah he's gotta he's gotta make those chad plays i respect it but but he might want to make better chad plays so the build we're going to go today is we're going boots into probably Stone of Gaia next. Uh, I figured we were going to be against a tier. I think it's tier support, yeah? Wait, <laughs> I'm assuming this was Loki Jungle with Bluestone. Um, I don't know why he's Loki Jungle with Bluestone, but I'm assuming that's what that is, and it is tier support. Oh, God. Minions OP. Thank you, Minions. Uh, ironically, we... No, no, that's greedy. <laughs> I was going to say we maybe kill him. I don't think I die here. I'm being greedy, though. Okay, it looks like I wasted that, but, you know, not dying, pretty good thing to confirm. Once I heard him pop, too, he just ulted. Because it looked like he was gaining on me. Why would he be gaining on me? You have boots. I have boots. I think he's somehow faster. I could be tripping. I think Kirk just has more base move speed for some reason. It's probably one of those things where, like, Osiris probably has 370 base speed, and Herc probably has 375, and that made a difference. Which, by the way, is a thing. It's, it's not something that matters very often, but gods have different base speeds in Smite. And I think what it is now, because it used to be a bit different, but I think generally mages are 350. A lot of gods are somewhere in the middle, like uh, like 360s, 370s. Decent amount are at 375. And then I think Merc finally got tuned to 380 just so he can technically, technically be fast as god. I'm pretty sure. All right, we're going to bully him out, make sure he actually has to back here if we can. We still got our wave on us, though. So. Not like we really lose anything for it. You don't want to eat this damage right now, man. He's not even getting a gank. And we're getting ult soon, so if he keeps stalling, we actually kill him. Yeah, look at the sickle value, man. You get trash wave clear, you get insane PvP damage. Does he die? Oh, shell OP! Okay, that's fine. We got a shell. I wanted to see if, uh, I honestly wasn't even thinking about shell. I don't know, I don't know why he shelled instead of just dashing. This guy's so greedy, man. 
He's so insanely greedy. He keeps trying to make just huge plays. If we, I think his play there, it could have been five head, honestly, is if we ult over him, which I was very careful not to do, um, then he can shell, not die to ult, and dash me into tower, and we should have died, I think was the play. But, but yeah, I figured he would just insta-react with dash or we kill him, but he actually was just sitting on it with that shell. All right, we'll back in a sec, get our Gaia done, be kind of OP in lane. Uh, ironically, might want to get pulled a little bit by Herc once we have Gaia here. Oh, actually, we need a little bit more money. Don't worry, champ. I'm sure. Boys are fragging. Let's go. Zeus slapping a bit. Oh, I guess I guess half of the half of this is me. Zeus is fragging. Let's let's go. Not really, boys. Hi. Hi. What's up, buddy? Eh. Oh. You better not be juking on me. There we go. We don't get hit by the dash. But yeah, once Gaia's done, getting pulled occasionally should be good because we get that bonus Gaia heal. And his pull's not going to hit super hard. It's mostly the dash pull combo that actually gets scary. God, that sickle damage is gross. But yeah, normally people like to level the two. It's more consistent. It's better wave clear. The, the one just straight up sucks for wave clear. I mean, it basically it doesn't, it doesn't really clear wave for the most part. You can hit one minion with it, do okay damage. But with that five second cooldown and against somebody that... Honestly, doesn't have the best wave clear. Herc has, like, reasonable wave clear, but after he uses his cooldowns to kill it, because he has to 2-1 wave to kill it, uh, he doesn't really do much. So, his wave clear's okay, but he doesn't do much after, so leveling Sickle against him is pretty good. Against somebody that's a little scarier, has more clear and more boxing potential after they use it, then I think leveling the two makes more sense. So we get Gaia, we get a bully a bit more. Looks like he's just... Why is he going Gaia? I mean, Guy is decent and all. Oh, maybe he's going... He might be going Mail or Renewal, actually. I don't think this turns into a kill. We had passive and all, but... But he's kind of a tanky man, and that's just kind of a big wave. One thing that's super important, I think a lot of people goof on it, is chasing kills in spots and then giving up wave is so bad. It's something I try and avoid a lot, where, like, maybe we get a bully in there, but if I drop wave and go chase him, we just lose the wave and then inherently put ourselves behind, assuming it doesn't actually turn into a kill. Oh, this actually might. I don't know. Because we definitely... Oh, I whiffed the... It doesn't matter. I don't think he dies. It would have been a little close. I don't think he dies. Stop. Yeah, I'm surprised he's not going into a, like, breastplate. I feel like breastplate's absolutely the play here. We don't have knockups for him. And getting more cooldown to fight more is going to be massive for actually having a chance in lane. Because either way, we're going to out-sustain the man. Oh, baby. One thing against Osiris, by the way, if you guys are playing verse 1, especially if he's getting a ton of value out of his 1, uh, definitely just wiggle a ton in lane. Making yourself unpredictable makes it so much harder to play Osiris. His 2 is pretty easy to land. You're going to normally hit it, but the 1's fairly easy to juke, and it comes up so often, it's really important to juke it whenever you can. Eh. Nice. All right. He's not going to have TP to get back to this, so he might lose a little bit of farm, but because our wave clear his cheeks, I don't know how much he loses. Even though it's a little creep wave, so a lot of minions will die really fast. All right. We're going to back. We're going to start working on, I think, Glad Shield. We could go Breastplate. I think Glad Shield probably a little more value. Um, as far as our build's concerned, what we're going for here is health, defense, and cooldown. So once we get Bumba's done, which is going to be a while, you know, it's Bumba's level 20, going to take a bit. But once we get it done, we want full cooldown. We want a good amount of defense. We want a good amount of health. And that way the extra health will give us bigger Bumba's procs. The full cooldown will make sure we max him, like proc Bumba's as much as possible. And then the tankiness is, you know, the defense is just going to make us tanky boy. And basically the idea isn't just do a lot of damage because Bumba's does true damage, but to actually heal ourselves a stupid amount. And what I've done with this build so far in some other games is get Bumba's proccing for almost 200 a hit and then proccing it like once a second. And believe it or not, healing 200 health a second with true damage autos and resetting your cooldowns is insane. Believe it or not, uh, it's, it's pretty good. You know, 200 health a second, that's like 1,000 HP 5. I don't think there's an item in Smite that quite hits 1,000 HP 5. You better stop it, Herc. I've got, I'm just baiting the shit out of him and they're not ganking. <laughs> they're just sitting on, on my ward right there and they're not having it. Tell me I don't lose my blue. Not quite. Oh my God. I'm kind of salty about it. I don't know if we kill him or anything, but I don't know. I don't know what they expected him to do that they'd be able to gank there. It's not like there's a wave he's going to push up to. It's about as far as he's going to get baited to. 
I'm sad, man. I think they could have gone for it. Oh, you're going to dance on me, bud? Think I'm not going to slap you for that? Come here. Come here. Oh. Oh. He's trying to line up. Look at this. Look at these little wiggles he's trying to do. Line me up so he can dash me in a tower. Now he's trying to pull me. You think I don't play a little Herc of my own? Look at this. <laughs> look at this. He's trying so insanely hard to get me to go into tower there. It's funny, man. I feel like one of my favorite things in Smite is when you get like the tier players and the Herc players, the characters that like specifically want to CC you into certain spots and, and knowing how to move against it and just fucking with them is actually so much fun. It's one of the most fun things in solo, given it solo. So it's one of the only fun things, but you know. It's actually, it's actually so much fun just messing with people. Why are you ult just 2-1? I'm not going to kill you. Just 2-1 the wave, my guy. I don't get it. I don't know. Sometimes you just got to throw rocks, you know? Like our ancestors. Maybe? Oh, we actually got it with the auto. <laughs> Yoink. Excuse me, sir. You better stop. See, does he go for a suck? No, nah, we're good. Yeah, we really don't do too much in this lane. He's kind of a tanky man. Obviously, we're... Oh, excuse you? I mean, we're doing... Oh, enemies in the left jungle, huh? Uh-oh. Okay, we're good from that. There's a Loki somewhere. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Every once in a while, there's stuff I'll hear that I'm not sure if it's very obvious in the video. But yeah, Loki Invis. And Loki Invis kind of loud as shit. So, so I knew it literally the moment he did it. Although I guess normally that's the only way we're going to hear it, right? It's kind of hard to hear Loki footsteps. I wonder, is he using the Infiltrator skin? I'm pretty sure that's still a thing. I don't know if it's still a thing after the rework. I don't know why it wouldn't be, though. But the uh, the Loki Infiltrator skin used to be, like, the only skin he had that didn't completely suck. I think he had, like, two or three recolors and a really bad one. And then the Infiltrator skin was actually pretty cool. Now there's some new ones. I don't think it's the coolest anymore. But the downside to it was to use the cool skin, you had to be super loud when you invis. Because for some reason they made the sound effects way... Excuse you? I will frag this. You have no mana. He might actually die here. No healing. Nice, we didn't choke anything either. <laughs> the, the, the little the little Herc laugh. I genuinely think he just thought he was okay. But, I mean, given maybe he didn't realize he was Doom, I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, we took his blue, so it's not like he had any good mana going for him there. And we're gonna take it again, you little shit. Thinking you can dash up... <laughs> <laughs> thinking you can dash up on me. Well, now I have to upload it, man. When's the last time I got to upload a rage quit video? I'm sad, though. I already had a game earlier today where I wanted to do the Bumbas thing. Yeah, rip indeed. Um, And the game was too short. I got, like, half a kill off of Bumbas. It was also kind of a boring game. It was more boring than this one. We didn't have as much of a lane. But, yeah, just, you know. I don't want to have one of those games where it's like, look at this cheese. Oh, it's great. I know how good it is. Let me tell you guys about how good it is. And then we finally get to it. And it's like, all right, we hit two Bumbazados game over. Uh, just, just know it's sick. You know, we're not going to do that. So they'll probably F6. We'll probably do a round two. But we're definitely going to work this one into the round two. Unless who knows? Maybe, maybe man comes back. Maybe, maybe boys somehow 4v5 reasonably well. And we just upload a game where it's me bullying four people. Uh, what else do we want to buy? They got a little bit of magic damage. I think we might go a Talisman. Talisman feels pretty good on Osiris when we're trying to build all tanky. Uh, Shell? I think. Good? It's probably good. We could go Beads. Beads might be better. I don't know. Oh, I should have TP'd mid, by the way. Although, I don't... Is that cheating? Because they don't... <laughs> they don't have a solo. I, I mean, I don't know. I would have done it whether he was DC'd or not. <laughs> but but I might have felt a little bad about it. See, here we go. Here we go. Nice. I'll take it. I'll take it. If team feeds enough, the 4v5 doesn't matter. It's like it's 4v4. Big brain. All right. We're actually just going to go straight back to base in a second here. We're just going to go get Talisman done. Get a little zoomy. Okay. <laughs> Literally no one contesting. Still managing to die to Gold Fury. Um... 
But uh, yeah, I was going to say a thing. Yeah, Talisman of Energy. I can't remember the last time we built this on the channel, but I think it's a really cool item. It's an item that I want to build more. And I think in general, some of our solo lane videos going forward, we're going to more often build a little tankier. But the the item is cool. And because it's a tanky item, we're actually going to squeeze it into this build. It gives us move speed. It gives us attack speed. It gives us a ton of magic props, a ton of health. Um, and it's super cheap. I think it's 2,100 gold. But basically, it's a decent support item in the mid game and a really solid solo item in the mid game. Because whenever you're around waves with your boys, you get to speed them up, help them get out. Let's see if Loki goes on Zeus or kills himself. <laughs> Which one? Which one? Obviously, didn't know we were there. Nice. We didn't get tornado. This actually might turn into a kill. You stop zooming. Nice. That speed boost actually sticks us to him. So I think he just dies. Eventually. Maybe not. Tear stop it. That was sick. <laughs> Little, little look away, little fade away one. No, come here. Stop wiggling. Oh, excuse you. Oh no, Susano. We got his wing blade. Huge, huge value. All right, we're going to go farm. You stop. I said you stop. There's the F6. All right. I don't know why they stalled it out, man. They actually had, oh, I guess, I don't know. I did bully them at their speed buff, but... <laughs> Ironically, with the way the game was going, I think they actually had a chance to at least to at least make it a while. I don't know. Anyways, we'll get into round two. We'll do another game. Uh, probably will not absolutely farm the soul laner in this next game because not having a starter item is a little bit rough, but we'll see what happens. All right, we are back with round two. Uh, this game should be a little bit harder, I think. Actually, maybe not. I don't know. This might be Gilg support. It might be Wukong support. I think if it's Wukong solo, we're going to have a bit of a rough time. Wukong's just in general really good in solo, and I feel like he plays pretty well into Osiris, because even though we can like hypothetically anti-heal the ult, it's a little bit hard to pull it off, and even if we do, as long as he doesn't die, which kind of defeats the point of the anti-heal thing, then we end up just getting dunked on right after. So can be a bit of a rough matchup for sure. And then Thor jungle gonna be spooky as Osiris because I'm not gonna be trying to go beads early game which means he gets to dunk on my face and we don't have a lot of mobility to get out of his stuff so we'll have to be a little bit concerned about that but we'll see what we're up against. Either way I think we should be able to get a little little nice edge out of boots rush here in the beginning because they're probably going to can I see your health bar it'd be great if that doesn't keep happening because that's a bug that can tend to stay and oh my god it's miserable when it stays man it is absolutely miserable. To not be able to see your person's health bar that you're fighting. You want to get some ghost dance on you? Bing. By the way, since we're against a Wukong like we talked about in the last game, um, if we are against somebody with better clear, which is absolutely Wukong, then we want to go ahead and level the two so that we have a better chance at actually clearing wave. Kind of nice. So we're going to do that this game. Which means we don't get a bully as much, but we do get a not die to minions uh, a little less. Eh. Nice, actually got massive poke on him right there. So we got our little booties rush going here. See if he has his three or not. Nice. Honestly, not nice. It's it's nice for him, not so nice for us. Oh my god, I hate this. High res, please. I'm just gonna, maybe I'll do a daily tweet. Every single day, I'm gonna tweet about this bug and I'm gonna link a video for it and then they're gonna fix it eventually because I will just absolutely cry about it every single day. I don't know. Maybe I need more Twitter followers for that. <laughs> Damn, I am just eating damage right now. Popping pots, probably a good idea. Actually, should be a little bit careful about getting Thor ganked here. He could come underneath. I kind of doubt he's going to come underneath. Eat one of those for me. Okay, he actually gets to be aggro here, so we're going to dip a little bit. We're going to play with his heart. Never mind, he's not getting too, too committed to it. Let's see if he'll go on me or not here. Oh, okay. It's kind of a weird three. I don't know why you bothered threeing that. Eh. Oh, rip. Yeah, Wukong absolutely bullying compared to the the uh, the Herc, huh? There's not too much you can do to bait a Wukong unless he just fucks up insanely bad. He pretty much just does his Wukong thing, and normally that means he wins lane because he's really good against a massive variety of characters. He has crazy wave clear. He's got good CC. His ultimate's insanely safe. Gilgamesh thinks he's cute. Thinks he gets to gank me. Oh no, I'm just sitting in my wave. I'm a little scared of the Wukong. Uh-oh. I don't have wards. 
I think he banked. <laughs> I don't know if he's still... Yeah, no, I think he just banked. <laughs> I thought I could bait him into staying there, but I think he just instantly dipped right off the word. One auto? Huge. Huge value. Absolutely an excuse. I will zone you, kiddo. You gonna be spooked? You gonna play the spook game? What? The, why? Okay. By the way, we didn't check. I'm assuming that means it's Gilgamesh Jungle. Could be wrong. Yeah, I think it's funny. He really got spooked for no reason. The moment he hit me, I just got a little clapped. I <laughs> really, really couldn't do much against it. Bluestone's so insanely strong in lane right now. It was already really good, uh, especially on certain characters. It just gave... The big thing about Bluestone is it gave you a ton of damage plus a ton of regen. And I think a lot of people are sleeping on how much regen you get out of it. It's crazy strong. I think it's 20 HP 5, which is 4 health a second, which is... Not dying. <laughs> Damn, we lost a minion off that ult. Unfortunate. We should have five head not ulted right away. So we get all the minions. Because I totally could have predicted that. All right, we got Gilg, Blink. We got Wu... Oh, no, not quite. We got to be really careful about getting Gilgamesh ulted right here. So now we're going to be the one who's playing the zone game. Oh, he's mid. Never mind. Either way, we don't want to die to Wukong either. Since I'm a little bit low and we ain't got no pots. Oh, boys are slapping. Nice. Yeah, farm the other Gilgamesh. I want my Gilgamesh jungle to be the good one. All right. We... Oh, give me that money. Uh, Wukong doesn't have TP, right? Yeah, he's got that blink. I see so many blink Wukongs. I feel like I never rush blink on Wukong. Oh, this god gamer's taking his blue. You better get it. I'm not I'm not even going to take it. We're going to go get our blue in a sec. But, but he slaps. I like it. All right, let's go grab our blue real quick before Salty Wukong finds out what happened because he'll definitely be coming for it with a fiery hatred. So we grab that. And then I think we'll just TP back with Gaia? Glad? Oh, that could have... Whoa, I got clicky right there. Could have TP'd to some random towers. Yeah. Nice. I actually got a lot of money out of that, too. Okay, let's ward up a little bit. I think this lane's going to end up being really boring, unfortunately. What's up? Like, we're going to get a little more damage as we go on, but he's also going to get... I'm just whiffing everything. But, yeah, he's going to get tankier as we get our damage online. The big thing for us is probably going to be getting that sickle leveled. Well, okay. Not sure why he's catting into creeps. It's actually goofing super hard right here. There we go. We get his ult. I'm not going to ult on his ult. I don't think it's worth. If he wants to ult on me, we might get to kill him. But it looks like, yeah, he's not having it. So we can see if he goofs on the wave. I think it's going to be pretty hard for him to kill himself. <laughs> especially, especially if he plays like that. Actually, he might, honestly. Oh, he broke it instantly. That sucks, man. I wanted to play with his three right there. Oh, he's going for the aggro play? I have ult and you don't, though. I think we kill him eventually. I'm saving ult. Oh, you're kidding. Thank you, Athena. <laughs> I thought that was a perfect ult. Um, it was not a perfect ult. Like, if he backsteps, we hit him. If he doesn't, we hit him. Not quite. No, I kind of threw the kill. Athena ult pog. <laughs> no 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 that wasn't that wasn't a sarcastic eat shit you rock that was like thank you for saving my ass you rock uh not saving my ass but you know beating his ass you rock because i was gonna choke that i don't think he would have killed me or anything but it was still kind of bad all right we got a glad shield online should be pretty good for trading glad shields are really solid item in the solo lane right now for more of the like tankier builds which is funny because you know not even a year ago, just last season, this was like the bruiser item in solo lane and the tankier items were, you know, Stone of Gaia or Breastplate or something. And I feel like for the most part, you know, on a lot of builds, this is just new Breastplate. I think a lot of characters, it's not even worth building Breastplate on them. And then Glad Shield is kind of the new one. You get a little less protections, but you get health instead. You get a little less cooldown, but you get some damage on the passive instead. You get OP blue buff instead. Yeah, we're trying to stun that three at the very end. 
Yeah, stack on the archer so I get all that wave clear too. Oh, he's actually goofing really hard right now. Uh, can I land my stuff? If I hit him there, he's dead. We anti-heal him. We won him. Maybe he's not dead, actually. But it would have been kind of close. Fuck, man. I'm actually... <laughs> I'm actually throwing. Whatever. At least we're bullying in lane. That's cool. I mean, like I said, I think Wukong's actually a really solid god into Osiris. Um, but I don't think he's playing it passive enough. He's playing a little too aggro, so we're actually getting to hit a lot of our damage on him. Oh, this is an up. I mean, why would it be up? He has blue buff, but I still thought it was going to be up. Oh! Get him with it. Try and bait him up a little if we can. Catch him in the wave again. Yeah, he's really... I don't know why he's grouping in his creep so much. That's the big thing on Wukong that you get to not do. And so he's he's kind of messing up where he's landing... A lot, a lot of my twos get crazy. Oh, God. This man's got a mannequin. Man also gets stunned at the end. Oh, we're turning this. This is huge. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my God, boys. That was sick. Oh wait, it's 12 to zero. God, do I gotta do a part three for this video? Is this gonna end up being one of those videos where it's like, I wanna do this cheese thing, but it's not even, it doesn't even end up being cheese. It's just slightly worse Osiris trying to get cheese. It might be. If they have six at ten, we're doing a part three, boys. It'll be the first. <laughs> God damn it. When the team frags too hard. All right, let's actually back real quick. Kind of low health in man. I'm a little spooked. Yeah, there's... <laughs> oh, whatever, man. That was actually a fun lane, though. If I didn't choke those ults, we would have been 3-0. Oh. Wait. 4... 3-0 oh and 1, right? I think? Yeah instead of 102. Anyways, part three, let's get it. All right, boys, we are on to round three. This is the round that probably decides the title of the video, because this is the round that will probably decide whether or not we actually get to do the whole Bumba's thing, or if that's going to be reserved for a uh, like to be continued video type thing. Because so far we're getting these short ass games and they've been decent short ass games. We've got to do some stuff. But, you know, we're not getting to Bumbas. Bumbas takes a while, right? So, yeah, we'll see what happens. We're against a Herc again. This one's probably not going to Rage Quit. It is a different Herc. I feel like Rage Quits don't happen too, too often. Man's got Blink and T2 Boots. He started at blue, so he's going to get some Wave Clear right here. He's probably going to be a dick and try and push me off the Wave right here. Happens pretty often. Actually, his Wave Clear is kind of potato, so I guess he's just zoning a bit. I think was the play. I don't know. They also have a, like, five-star set, so that might be scary. You know, set tends to do some work in casuals and ranked alike, so we'll see what happens with that. I'm not sure how much we get to bully this guy with the, uh... I'm trying to remember, did the last Herc do the boots thing? Herc is a super scary god to boots rush on. I feel like he's got to be one of the absolute strongest, because he's already Herc early game doing, <laughs> doing Herc things, but then when you get those autos slapping insanely hard, too, he's just something else, man. He's just a different creature. So I think we get our three here to try and not die. I think it's kind of big brain. There we go. We try not to get pushed with the wave. He's actually getting a little spooked. I didn't even think we'd get the stun off there. I'm surprised he got spooked at all by that. Oh, that was a wiggle and a half right there. All right, let's not get pulled. I think we just play a little bit chill right here. He's got blink, so we got to try and either make sure he can't blink on us or that any blink's not worth. Because he can do some damage fast, even though he doesn't have the booties done quite yet. Alright, I think we back if he lets us. If he lets us. He let us. Nice. So, we'll still be able to get all the creeps and stuff. But the set's going to be spooky, man. The set's going to be really, really scary. Assuming he does set things and doesn't, like, feed, he's really a good god for ganking us. Late game will be really good for killing him. Anti-heal pretty nice against the set, you know? But... But early on, getting slowed by him is going to be rough. He's got crazy mobility, so he's hard to keep in place. Because the Herc didn't go a uh, a TP, he might lose some creeps here. So we're going to try and push them into tower. Because it wasn't a big creep wave, he should lose a few at least. But we'll see. Yeah? Get a little farm advantage. One of the big things for Boot Rush is TP becomes a lot stronger because you need to back early. What am I doing? Go get a blue buff, maybe. But getting that early back can a lot of the time be hard because you don't have very good wave clear yet, which means it's more likely that you're going to be getting back late 
and then missing a bunch of creeps. So we should have a lot of farm on him. Like, we're almost five. He should not be almost five. And I think he might goof right here. This actually might turn into a kill. Because we should get five off some creeps, hopefully. If we don't get completely screwed, we got completely screwed. <laughs> we, got, we got no creeps from Wave. Wave did not come in clutch. And I'm killing myself. Damn, we didn't get it. We actually kill him with that ult, I think, too. Fuck, man. Good, good pull. Good pull. Sell these off rewards. Damn it, dude. I got just a little bit too extended. Just a little baby bit. That's actually huge. Do we kill him with that ult? I don't even know if we kill him with it. If we got the up down off in time. I'm actually curious. If you're spamming an ability like the ult and you're CC'd so you can't get it off and you're spamming it, do you actually lose potential time to get it off to the animation or anything? You know, does that make any sense? Like if you're, oh God, he's so, he's so much more farmed. He got a full wave off that plus first blood. I guess it wasn't first blood, but you know, plus a kill. Although right here, maybe dead. He has wave to fight and he has, oh, he has ult. What am I doing? Killing him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was forgetting his ult was up. Uh, I actually thought there was a good chance he would ult right there. I'm surprised he didn't. I think he was waiting for my ult to ult, but goofed a little bit. Honestly, not a bad trade on his part. I think it was a pretty smart fight, but luckily we caught up off that. <laughs> it's really funny, man. I'm so used to, you know, when we're dying, normally we're going to be dying to the ult, right? It's pretty rare that I just goof like that and get sucked into tower. But, but we did. So that was almost bad. Big rock do big damage. Could have slapped me pretty hard. That is one thing we'll want to look for in this matchup. If we can, it's kind of tricky too, because, you know, you have to actually get your ult off. Ult has a little bit of a cast time on Osiris. But if we can react to Herc Boulder and ult over it and land on him, that'll be sick, you know? Hit him with the uh, the big donk and, and not get hit by Massive Boulder doing half our health bar will be pretty huge for getting a lane advantage. Get another little ward up. Okay, so it looks like we're about even in lane now. He's building Breastplate, which is pretty normal. I think I talked about that against the last Herc, right? I think he went Stone of Gaia. We got a uh, Naja looking for ganks. Okay, I don't think this gets good. Honestly. We're trying to chase down his dash if we can. Kind of five head tanked for Naja, but it wasn't actually calculated. Nice. We got out of a decent amount of that. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't calculated. The, uh, the tank for Naja. I didn't think his dash would hit me there. So that was really shitty on my part. Oh, he's goofing. But we're dying to settle, so I don't know if it matters. I don't think he dies. That sucks, man. I actually uh, didn't process that set hadn't ulted. That was really bad on my part. I knew they were going to dive me. I thought we'd actually be able to turn a little bit, but really not. Given, you know, T2 Breastplate makes it so it's pretty easy to tank. T2 Breastplate plus being Herc. But that's okay. unfortunate man that was really the big difference there was just set set being set Naja early game so bad set early game honestly not the best but not near not nearly as bad and so we don't get a ton of damage off the Naja ult because it just doesn't do that much and then you know set gotta just dive tower and do a lot that's unfortunate but as we get later in the game I think that'll change obviously set late game still scary but Naja actually gets to do things as she gets a little later in the game Okay, Hurt going for a little back. We'll actually drop this in a sec because we want to clear this about as hard as we can. It's honestly, I'm surprised he back there. You should miss a ton of farm for that. So we get to grab Scorpion. We get to push a wave into tower. We get to grab our blue. And then I think we back because we got our glad shield money. He's probably coming back with breastplate. So this lane's going to be a lot harder now because he'll have cooldown plus a ton of defense. Yeah. But once we get glad shield, we should at least be okay. We're definitely going to stop getting dashed into tower. This, I'm, I'm going to start making sure I position so it doesn't happen. Because that last one, I didn't even think it would. I think he just barely clipped me. And I didn't think he'd be able to catch me there. By the way, out of habit, I leveled the two this game. I know we talked about in the other Hurt game, uh, not even really talked about so much as just did the, the sickle level. And it went really well. 
And I think it would have gone really well this game too, but out of habit, I did the whole two thing. So maybe a little bit of a screw up on my part. We actually might've gotten a lot more lane pressure. This hurts been just straight up playing a lot better. So, you know, <laughs> it might have, it might not have mattered because just generally speaking, the better you play, the more it matters to get that, that wave clear pressure out of your two. But I think we might have gotten more value out of the one still. Right, let's get some more wards up, try and not die to set. The big difference is going to be Hercules is absolutely an early game god, and Osiris is normally really good in lane. Like, we're a solid lane character for sure. Um, one of the better ones. But with this build especially, since we're not going a death toll or anything to really pad our lane, we're going to be getting that Bumba's late game, and Herc's not going to compare. Herc in general kind of a bad late game god, but especially once we get Bumba's and get a little cheesy and absurd... Assuming, you know, we get... Why did that hit me? Or not why did it hit me, but why did it pull me? I feel like we were about <laughs> about two feet from him. I don't know why it got the knockup. Maybe I backpedaled into it like a dummy? By the way, he's got more cooldown now. So yeah, that dash is coming up and it wouldn't have before. Okay, we got to watch out a little bit for set ganks, but I'm greedy. I want totem. Yep. We probably just die here. Yeah, too greedy for Totem. Uh, I shouldn't have... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's probably not going to matter. Her goal was a while ago. It might not even It might not even be down anymore. Probably shouldn't have said shit. The stupid set ganks, man. They're rough. There's not much we do about it as Osiris. I think in lane we're fine. I think in lane we can actually hold our own pretty well. But the set ganks make a massive difference. Alright. Uh, what build? What build, what do? I think we just go shifters, actually. It's a little weird. Um, it's maybe not as much of a tank item as I should be building. But I feel like Stone of Gaia, not really the item I want right now. I don't know. I feel like we're not getting too much value out of HP5. Even though it works against Herc, obviously. Herc knockup's a thing. Therefore, Gaia a thing. Oh, I wish that hit him. He's ahead enough. I don't know how much we want to be fighting right now. Breastplate's a better early game item to begin with. Glad Shield's a little more late game. Okay, we got his ult down again. But he probably gets a gank soon, so we gotta be careful here. And we don't have a tower to sit in anymore. Not that it matters, because Set heals through the tower. But <laughs> but we don't have a tower, so still. Little, little extra padding, you know, against the Set ganks. Helps a bit. Oh god, here he goes. Here he goes clapping again. All right, Naja's dead. Never mind. I was gonna, I was gonna rotate mid there, see if we could get a little value out of a gank. The good thing for us, though, our late game should be way better than their late game. I think. I think. I hope. They've got an Aries. Aries late game kind of sucks. Um, set, set late game's really good. Naja late game's really good. So set's probably a little bit better there. We're gonna be way better than a Herc. Morrigan should be a lot better than the Rama because Morrigan late game's insane. We got a lot of good stuff going for us. So hopefully, even though things going a little bad right now, I think everybody except Morrigan's losing lane, that we get late game and we actually get to clap him a bit. Okay. Take, this take this jungle buff? Does he mean take the smalls I'm doing or does he mean take his speed buff? Because he's doing shit and he doesn't want it. <laughs> I don't know. All right, Ares, you feel like dying for me, bud? I don't want to ult him. It feels like a waste. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of a waste. Might get hurt dashed here, I don't know. I don't know where the man's at. I also might lose my blue doing the mids here, but but I'm greedy. I gotta farm. Alright, shifters almost there. The good thing is, even though we've been getting ganked a lot, we're actually pretty farmed. We're not quite as farmed as Herc, but we're actually staying caught up to set, who's 7 and 2. So, and, and does set things. Set farms really well. So that's really solid for us. As long as we're not falling super behind, it doesn't really matter too much if they're killing us in lane. Eh. All right, let's dip real quick. Is Nasha going to farm those? Are those free camps for me? Oh, baby. I like it. I like it. We'll take it. One thing that's been fortunate for us so far is that Herc hasn't been diving into the jungle and taking these. So... He's not getting that extra farm spike, and we're actually able to catch up a little bit with him. 
All right, boys might get stomped by a hurt gank. Never mind, he just did totem. Let's go dip. Now he actually might gank, I don't know. Grab some more words real quick. Oh, buy one of these bad boys, buy a little shell. We could go sprint for set, but I don't know how worth it is. It might be really worth, I don't know. I actually have no clue. Set slow is really annoying, but I don't know how much it matters for me personally as we get late game. It's not like Osiris is the big target normally. I'm coming, boys. Papa's coming in with the TP. They're all dead. Okay. <laughs> They're all full HP. We're all dying. I see how it's going. There's not even a point in ulting that. Holy man. That just... They just got obliterated. I don't even know what we do there. If I ult in, I just kill myself. Yeah, this game's looking a little worse for wear. Looking like maybe we just get two stomps and then one stomp in the other direction. I don't know. Yeah, the squad is going right lane, Morrigan. <laughs> the entire squad. I think she's just trying to kill the Rama before she gets ganked. But we are not counter ganking that because I can't make up for the, the five people that are going to go kill her. Oh, maybe not five. You got to ult my blue man. It's a little cold. Really got to do me like that? It's okay. I don't think we really need the blue right now. Mostly just sucks that we lose a little farm off that. It's funny. I thought Herc was over there, honestly. Oh, you got regrowth? He does. Regrowth used to be even more OP, by the way. It used to be 40% speed, I think. I think that might have been the only thing, but it used to be 40% move speed instead of 30% move speed. And it's funny that it got nerfed and it still zooms as hard as it does. Whenever someone has regrowth, you're like, holy shit, they got shield of regrowth. But, <laughs> but it used to be even stronger. And what's funny is overall, it mostly sucks as an item. It's mostly just a Herc item. Normally, you don't want to build it on people because a lot of people that would get value out of it are assassins that want to be doing more damage. And so you just get hurt zooming around like a mad lad. Here, come split this camp, boy. All right. Do we need magic defense or do we just keep, keep building physical defense? <laughs> she said, be quiet because because he said, nice job getting a tower. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Stop complimenting the team. Oh, God, Naja, please tell me you don't die for Scorpion. He doesn't. Fuck. We're not rotating mid. They're dying. They're dying. It's not good. We, we go farm left. Maybe get tower. We'll see. Good thing is we're getting there. We're a little close. Like three and a half levels off. Yeah, I think we'll actually try just going more physical defense. Hopefully ignore Merlin. I'm sure Merlin's doing some decent damage and all, but I feel like Set and Herc are the, the really scary ones at the moment. They're going to have a Rama getting in on fights too soon. So we'll see if we can just super greed. Nah, boys. Nah, boys. It's easy. Y'all don't deserve me. If she goes one in three. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You're really, yeah. Really hard carrying this one, Morrigan. Good stuff. Um, What was I gonna... I was gonna build Gaia, I guess? We get some value out of it from... Yeah, we'll just go Gaia, I think. It's a little more universal. We get value out of it against Merlin, too. And not just... Uh, not just Herc. So I think that makes it a bit better. Your middle tower is under attack. Yeah, some people, man. Some people. If you want to get somebody to F6, you don't say you don't deserve me. That's how you get people to F7. Retreat. And I know, because I, I will. That's not why we're F7ing, but I would, you know? All right, we trying to beat some set ass? I'm going to try and ult him once he's a little more. Oh. Once he's a little more dead, apparently. apparently. <laughs> I, was, I meant like once he got on Agni, got those. Those actual passive procs would get a little more, a little more reliable ult, you know? This actually might be, oh, I goofed. I tried to shell too late, man. 
I wanted a shell right as the Aegis ended, and that was stupid. I, don't, I think he dies anyways. I don't know if it matters, but it's still bad. All right. Well, we kind of lost that, but it was also a 4v5, so not Thor's fight, honestly. And we killed Set right away. Agni did a sick job. Although, honestly, Set sort of goofed, but still. Agni hit him with the turn. Okay, let's not die to a Herc Blink. I'm pretty sure it's up. I'm sad Morgan didn't push. I, I'm assuming she's just salty, but... <laughs> like, maybe she gets the tower anyways, but I figured she'd at least take the tower with the, uh, you know, the salty split push. All right, they're on Pyro. I don't think they'll go for actual FG, but we'll plop a little ward down just in case. Try and stay near. And there goes the Pyro. That's fine. Oh, well, we got to stop the lazy back. Yeah, get out of here. Okay, she's dead, I think, unless they're not going to go on her. On my way. Are they not killing her? How are they not? She's like 1v3, 1v4. I don't understand. That should have been so bad. We'll rotate in a sec. <laughs> they actually they actually got a kill off of it. That's funny. They definitely just got lazy and didn't kill her. They 100% could have just uh, farmed her. All right, we're going to mute her. It's too salty. I don't know if we could have reached that there. Okay, we're going to try and focus on the set if we can. Don't think we get to, though. Not taking too much damage yet, so we actually might get to kill Merlin in a sec. Try and wait this out. Get him with a little double clap. Then we are actually taking a solid zero damage right now. This man's got a wing blade. Are you kidding me? He's got a wing blade too? Can you not? Wait, Rama? You ending? No, I missed my one. I don't know. He probably lives anyways. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's fine. We're chilling. Let's do a little red buff. Get a little level 20 in Bumbas. Start doing the thing. I like it, man. The boys are actually stepping up. I think the big thing is Agni is, is starting to frag a bit. I don't know if he was in the beginning or not. Maybe I just missed it. But he's actually doing pretty well. He's the only one positive so far. All right, we got Bumbas done. That fight, honestly, that fight felt like a Bumbas fight. I don't know if they just missed damage or if our build's just getting OP. Because it really felt like, I think we were probably pretty perfectly in Shifter's passive is probably what happened. So we got, what, like 88 magical prot and 182 physical prot and then huge health bar. So they, we didn't take a whole lot. I'm assuming is the big thing. But now that we got Bumba's done, it's going to get a little silly. We got to watch out for getting bursted. Staying alive for long-term fights is really, really important for this. But it's going to get ridiculous, man. I'm so, I'm so glad we at least get one game where we get to do Bumba's stuff. And we didn't get stomped beforehand, or they didn't F6 or anything. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Ironically, I think them saying that might have saved me, though. I knew they were coming, but I was just going to be greedy and push up to, <laughs> like, push up that way, instead of rotating all the way underneath. And it might have gotten me killed. It looks like not. It looks like they didn't come, but they could have. Ooh, Morrigan. Actually following through on being important. Nice. She had to, right? After she talked herself up so much, had to do a thing. <laughs> no, this is good, boys. They don't got a herc. Oh, they're, they're gone. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. So if we can catch Ares, I think he just dies. We got so much more damage now. It looks like Morgan's going to defend left, so we don't have to worry about backing right now. All right, start dying. Look at Bumba's, boys. Look at Bumba's. Bumba's value. We ult this, I guess. Make sure we don't drop the kill. Can you not ult him? Try and turn on the set if we can. Nice. At least we kill set. It sucks that we couldn't save Agni, but I don't think there's any way we could have there. We're going to try and fuck up the Merlin. Stop. I don't know if I've procced my Gaia yet, so I actually maybe should have gotten hit by that. Five head, five head get hit by Merlin knockup? Uh-oh. Oh, the Spectral's coming in clutch, though. Or not the Spectral, the, uh, the Phantom. Yeah, look at the Bombas, boys. 
Look at the Bumbas doing Bumbas things. <laughs> We're like just healing through the fight. I think we might die in a sec, but, but oh my God. No, they're giving up. It's actually so dumb, man. Just like that, we're good, you know? Just like that, we can tank the team. Morgan's just split pushing, but because that fight actually went reasonably okay, it's actually not bad. Managed to make things happen. Take their speed in a sec, makes that salty. I actually think we get to kill him here. Oh, he's got a beads for us though. And he CC me in the stun like a big brain gamer. Do you have, what? How did he cleanse that? He has mantle. You gotta be kidding me, dude. He has everything. Uh oh, we're generating a lot of set procs. He's kind of set procking through Bumbas at the moment. There we go. Finally, man. Can you not? Okay. Falling back, falling back. If I had mana, I would be so down to keep going, but I really don't. Yeah, let's take that top damage for ourselves real quick. Uh oh. We're going to try and peel for the boy. All right. Uh, Gilgamesh, you're on your own, man. <laughs> I don't have, I don't have mana to keep peeling for people. So hopefully he's not dead. Might be dead. I don't know. But hopefully not. Let's see. What do we build here? I need a little baby bit more cooldown, I think. So I think Shoguns might be the play. Gilg has a Shoguns. Uh, and Soul? Get a little more Chad? Genjis. Hmm. We're gonna go Ansel. We're gonna go Genjis. We're gonna go Genjis. <laughs> little, little indecisive. Little indecisive. Ironically, I just bought Red Pot, so that was maybe a waste and we could have gone Onis, but I don't know. Genjis might be sick too. <laughs> I really didn't think, think that through. Red Pot's actually going to give us full cooldown. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I think being tankier is good. I thought Ansel might be nutty value. Oh, I would love a blue buff. Nice. We actually got it. But Ansel might be nutty value for the passive, but the prot's not going to be quite enough. And Merlin's definitely going to do some big chunks at this point. Yeah, you get out of here. You go back with your kind. Oh? Uh? Yeah? I don't know if they're here for this. And we can Bumba's tank it. Five heads, don't a guy a proc. Definitely didn't get hit on accident. Kill a set. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I didn't need to ult that late. Whoops. Yeah, Najla might gotta be a little bit more careful with the ultimate. Oh, we're gonna Bumba's on him. And hopefully not get obliterated. We'll see. Oh, baby, Merlin. I mean, he finally TP'd. He TP'd so late. We're gonna mostly keep W King as much as we can because I get a Bumba's heal. <laughs> Look at the heals. <laughs> oh my god. For a second there, we were almost back to full. And we almost have ult again. Holy man. My bad. I can tank, boys. I can tank. By the way, we do get a proc bumbas on Phoenix, in case you guys didn't know. Oh, uh-oh. Knocked me up, like, two feet. All right, we're leaving. We're, uh-oh. We were leaving. We got to try and turn this hard now. Nah. <laughs> Save myself, they say? Why would I do that when I have Bumba's hammer? Why would I not dive their base? I honestly, I feel bad. I didn't mean to bait them in. I was just trying to get a kill out of my death. Yeah, I am really just trying to peel at this point. Oh, they're trying to actually go kind of hard. <laughs> Look at See, we finally get it. Look how stupid it is, man. You think I was making this shit up? Okay, we got his ult. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> All right, we're going to try and catch him at the end if we can. 
Nice, he's still in stun, huge. Should just be dead in a sec. Oh, by the way, Genji's was five head. We got so much MP5 out of Genji's that we just stay full mana, basically. So they just kind of like, yeah, they just kind of lose game. Because <laughs> the one downside to Bumba's is with all those cooldown resets, you just blow through mana. And uh, yeah, now we don't. Now we're almost back to full again because we stopped fighting for two seconds. All right, yeah, let's clap some Ares. We got ult to get through this. Let's go on the Merlin. Let's chase him back to base. All right, we probably should be going for Phoenix, but okay, never mind. We'll go for Phoenix if he's, if he's gonna kick him to Titan. Yeah, we want to try and get our Bumba's procs off as much as we can here while we're hitting it, because we get... I don't remember if we... I think we get true damage. I can't remember if we get the true damage, but we do get the heals off of uh, towers and stuff. I don't know what the plan is here with this Ares ult, but who knows? Maybe it's good. Yeah, actually good. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Five head ult. Set, you better not, buddy. You better not be going on my... How did that not hit you? Going on my boys. All right, should we be falling back? Should this be about time that we reset? Well, he got knocked out. That's so unfortunate, dude. Please tell me we stun him eventually. Damn, Guild kind of threw a kill. That sucks. Okay, I'm going to try and stay alive and not peel as much because I feel like if I die, things go really, really bad. That sucks. <laughs> like he dies for it though. I think. I hope. Come on. All right. Let's get the boys out. I really want to know what our damage is going to be at the end of this game. We got three deaths in lane and we've gotten like six or seven kills since. We're just obliterating people. All right, I don't really care about the red buff, so I'm not going to risk actually dying for it. I think we go get some speed pot real quick. I think we sell this bad boy off, get probably just mantle for big stats. Could go spirit robe, honestly, but I don't know. They don't have a ton of hard CC. So yes, we're over capping CDR. Somebody's going to be sad about it, but it really it doesn't it doesn't matter. We don't really have a time or a chance to stack urchin. I don't think so. This is just going to be better. I don't know if we proc the passive ever, because we don't seem to be dying so much, but the prots will be really nice. God, do we even do we even need blue at this point? Look at Genji's. 40 MP5. Ooh. Oh, that's eight per second. It's a lot. It's honestly not as much as I thought it was. In my head, in my head it was even more, but it's still a lot. Yeah, let's get a little blue anyways. <laughs> Morrigan's still salty, apparently, even though we've completely turned this game around, even though we're winning now. All right, because Left Phoenix just spawned and because Mid Phoenix is on the way to spawning, they should be a little more spooked about defending Phoenixes and defending Fire Waves, and we should get a go for Enhanced FG, and hopefully we can get a good turn on to set here. Yeah, I would like it if Agni did not do the Scorpion, though. So I think I just keep baiting it by tanking it, and then we turn in a sec here. Yeah, it takes a little bit for us to kill the Ares. Boys, don't lose the FG. What? Okay, maybe I should have calmed a little more because they just kind of choked it for no reason. I really don't understand why they kept going on it. Let's see what damage we can get off on set here. Oh, we get a stick to him. That's huge. Oh my god, he's actually life stealing a bit. Why you got that healing? I think Seth's going for Agni. So we're just gonna worry about this. Oh, he went back. Okay, he's defending. Makes sense. If we can keep stalling, they might lose mid Phoenix. So we're gonna stall right here. <laughs> okay, I think these guys, I think it's actually impossible for them to kill me. They're going to need some DPS. Oh, Herc's backing. We kill this Ares eventually. It's going to be a year, boys, but we're going to we're going to bring this man down. <laughs> Agni, why'd you have to help, man? Let me solo him. You dick. 
Why you gotta do that? Sure, it would have taken me a lot longer, but at least I get, you know, all the credit. God, I really want to just run into this Phoenix. Go run in and kill it. We honestly maybe can, but, uh, you know, maybe a little bit greedy. Alright, I'm assuming we give this to Agni. I don't think Red Buff does a whole lot for Bumbas. They could be wrong. And Bumbas is... Oh? He doesn't care. Let's find out. Does Red Buff do anything to Bumbas? I don't know why it would. It just gives us power, right? Yeah, no, it shouldn't. But it will make us hit a little harder in general. You know, it's okay. But... Yeah, I don't think there's any way we can kill Set without him actually <laughs> going on other people. I don't think I have enough mobility to do much to him. Excuse you? Excuse you? Don't you wiggle at me! Okay, why are walls there? Yeah, I really... I'm not trying to bait boys right here. By the way, I don't know if it got lost because we had to start fighting, but uh, that last fight, I really wanted us to turn off fire, but I don't think I called it explicitly. I thought it was just, I don't know. A lot of time I tend to think that things are, like, I don't know, obvious because, like, if it was in ranked, it'd be obvious or something. Okay, let's make sure he's anti-healed so he doesn't get so much value. Oh, he actually might live off that. That sucks. He does live off that. And then Herc just bouldered Morrigan, so, so she's dead. Oh, no, man. Not the fight at all. Not even close to the fight. Yeah, this is not good. Okay, I'm just going to leave. We definitely cannot 1v5, so I'm going to try and get back to defend. Damn, I don't even have a chance to TP. I think they catch it. Here. Oh, that counts, man? Oh my, come on. I get crippled out of TP? Tell me, hi -res. Tell me why. Tell me why that's a thing. No, stop. <laughs> I got the Genji's proc there, so I, I just double one. All right, it looks like Morrigan and Agni come up in time. So if I can just bait myself a little bit. Actually, not even that. If I can just sit here, we'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This sucks, man. We're getting so much value out of the Osiris pick. People are just getting picked. Yeah, if we can just fully group up, I think uh, I think these fights were a lot easier. Morrigan was a little too split, got caught on her own. I think she also just got greedy. I'm pretty sure she could have left, and she just didn't think Herc Boulder would kill her. So, so that went bad. And a lot of people are... Uh, are kind of over committing to fights because I over commit to fights, but the difference is I have Bumba's hammer and the equivalent of like a 10k health bar, and they don't, they have like a 2k health bar and, and no prots. So I can go push up and do things, but I'm not going to be salty if they just, you know, run away so they don't die. It's going to be a lot better if they just run away and don't die. We really probably should have sold our health chalice too and uh, gotten some more wards. <laughs> or at least still talking to her, man. I don't know why people don't just mute when, when someone's just obnoxious. Okay, this time I'm not even gonna I'm not gonna even actually aggro. What's he doing? Just looks like a free Aries to me. Yeah, his team's not here yet. I don't know why he got so greedy. Oh, uh, almost, man. That was a really shit shell. <laughs> they were still in it. I was like, fuck it. We need some shell. Then I, of course, proc it the moment we get out of it. I'm really bad with shells today, man. Normally, I feel like my shells are pretty good. I don't buy it all that often, but normally I think they're pretty good. But, but oh my god. Today, they are not good. Okay, we want to be looking to go on this set here. Good stuff, boys. Good stuff. Are you kidding me? We actually get CC'd off and he lives? Wow. That's unfortunate, man. 
I was about to two him, so I didn't ult there. Ironically, if we ult, we kill him, but I didn't expect to get dashed frame perfectly. Okay, let's try and reset if we can. I really want to kill the set, but we can't quite. It's a little too greedy. I'm a little too low. Damn it, man. These, these fights are so difficult. They have so much mobility is the big thing. Osiris isn't great with actually like crazy mobile characters like that. He's good at locking people down that don't have as much. And between like Merlin and Set and Rama, we just don't do a whole lot. We're great at CCing Herc and Ares, but that's not who we want to CC. So it gets a little awkward. All right, we'll finally sell this thing. Finally get rid of it. <laughs> Morgan, you don't need purple. Does she even see that? Can somebody tell me? Um, if someone's muted, do they see like pings and VGS and stuff? Obviously, it's not that they have me muted. It's that I have them muted. But I don't know if that's a thing in the game or not. Because I feel like at some point I thought that was a thing, but I don't know if it ever actually is or was. Or if I'm just tripping. Damn, this is going to be the longest video, by the, by the way. You guys who made it here, congrats. No, 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 this isn't good. This isn't good. I started pulling it thinking we were fully grouped, but uh, but Gilg's not here. I don't know why he's not here, man. Why is he on buffs? It's one thing if he's getting, like, a valuable buff. He's, like, doing small camp or some shit. Oh, he hit somebody. Okay. Kind of going for Ares, but I'll take it. Oh, stop. Scorpion doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know why we're doing Scorpion right now. It didn't matter. Oh, Agni, stop hitting it, dude. Oh, Agni, stop tanking. Holy man. He's losing his health bar to FG like a bot. Oh my god. I'm actually really pissed about that. It's just so, it's like auto throwing a fight. I don't understand. I don't know if he just doesn't realize or what. Oh, we actually might be a little fucked here. We didn't have CDs to Bumba's proc yet. Yeah, I think we're dead. Oh my God. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know how this is winnable. I actually don't, dude. People just, people are throwing so insanely hard. I'm doing what I can, but it's just not enough. Which is a lot, you know? We're Bumba's Osiris. We just don't get the chance. We do a shitload of damage. We CC the shit out of people. We tank a ton. It's just like, I feel like it's genuinely, it might be the most OP frontline in the game when you get to this stage. Because we're tanky with insane sustain and insane cooldown resets. But... But it's still not enough. I don't know. Is what it is, man. Is what it is. I'm really sad, though. I'm sad that we turned it around, like, at least I personally turned it around this hard as we got late game and got the build online, and it just didn't matter. It's too bad, dude. We'll have to peek the stats, though. I'm really curious what our damage numbers were like at the end. Damn, I actually, like, I shouldn't have told my team to ever do FGs, though. Because... <laughs> Because, like, the, the idea with fire isn't that we commit to the fire. Unless, you know, unless they're not coming to it. It's that we get off of it, we bait fire, it forces them up. Because otherwise they're just sitting back by their tier 2. And we force a decent fight. And they kept committing. Like, I literally left the fight to go ult it at the end. To have a, a little chance at securing it. But, but oh my god, man. This, <laughs> this really showed where things went wrong. <laughs> we got 61k damage. Other than, other than Agni and other than Merlin, we basically doubled anybody's damage in the game, or at least close to it. Even, even the, uh, the ADCs, even the junglers, holy man. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry for the salt at the end. I feel like the salt was a little warranted though, but thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory, say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room.
walls keep tumbling down 